Hey guys, it's Maddie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how I created this look that I've got on my face right now. So it is very glam, therefore perfect for the gym, perfect for a stroll down to the shops. Not really. I kind of made it for a festival kind of inspired look. So in Australia we've got Splendor Festival coming up. That's next month, I think. Yeah, so this would be great for that. But actually, I, I think you can get away with it in like normal life situations as well. I wore it to my friend's going away party. Like I felt like a bit of a freak, but I was just really wanting to do something a little bit different and we just went with it and this is what I came up with. So if you want to see how I did create this video, keep watching and we'll get straight into it. Okay guys, so I've already got my foundation, contour, bronzer and brows done. I'll leave a link to those tutorials that I've got down below in the description box. So we're just going to start with our blush. Now I'm going to use the trusty old Jaclyn Hill and Becca palette. And I'm going to mix these two today. So I'm going to pick up the angled side of my Makeup Forever Jewel Ended Brush and just really lightly tap into both of those and tap most of the excess off because this gives pigmentation a new level. And then flipping the brush over, I'm just going to blend that blush into the bronzer and contour that I've already done. Thank goodness it's so blendable because I always make myself look like a clown. I'm so heavy handed with the blush every time. Now with the same palette, I'm just going to use the Champagne Pop and my EXO Beauty Shimmer Fan Brush. And I'm going to use that on the central areas of my face. Can't forget the tip of the nose. Oh my god, I always go way too crazy with that. And then the tops of my cheekbones. Sweeping that up to the end of my brow as well. Mm. And then I'm just going to grab that round side of my brush again just to make sure that it's all blended. Now I'll move you up a little bit closer. Oh, I'm loving this backdrop. Okay, so I'm going to start out with priming my eyes. I've got my Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Eden. Oh, there's so much creasing going on from the foundation. And I'm just going to leave it to the top of my lids today because I'm really not even using that much shadow. I just feel weird if I don't prime. And I'm just blending that in with a beauty blender. Then for my Smashbox Contour Palette, I'm just going to take the white shade on my beauty blender and I'm just going to make sure that my primer is all set. Alrighty, I'm so nervous to do this look. I don't know why, like when I did it the other day or it was a couple of weeks ago, I just feel like it was such a fluke. I'm just so nervous to do it on camera, I'm like sweating. Anyway, first I'm going to use the shade Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek and my Zoeva 227 Luxe Soft Definer brush. And I'm just going to brush that through my transition area above my crease. This is just to give it a little bit of dimension, but to be honest, we're going to be covering this anyway. So don't worry too much about this step. I do think it gives you a bit of a nice guide though. Then with my MAC 217 blending brush, I'm just going to blend that out a little bit so that it doesn't look like a random orange stripe on our eyelids. Beautiful. I'm going to move on to the liner. So here I have my Inglot Gel Liner, the AMC 77, which is just black. And I'm going to take my Zoeva 315 Fine Liner Brush. And I'm just going to draw a little dot where I want the liner to come out to. Yeah, so I'm just doing like, if my crease is there and my brow's here, I'm doing halfway through, if that makes sense. I'm so bad at explaining things. So do a dot right in the middle of the crease and the end of the brow. To check that they're even, I'm just going to use this brush and my mirror and I'm going to take, like, imagine that there's an extended line coming from your lower lash line and meeting your brow like that. That looks good. And that looks good. Pretty good for the first try, if I may say so myself. Okay, so I'm using my Zoeva 317 Wing Liner Brush and the black liner again. You don't have to use a gel liner for this, by the way. You could use any liner that you want. You're not actually going to see it. This is just a guide for when you put the glitter on top. So even if it's not super neat, that's okay because the glitter covers it all anyway. So go for your life. This is difficult. And you want it to be quite thick. So I'm going to take this right from there down to my... Okay. 
Okay, we're getting somewhere. Um, by the way, this video is probably going to be really boring and a lot of fast forwarding because multitasking is really not one of my strong points. Oh. oh. Okay, now I'm just going to draw where I want that to end, which is about there. So you want to do it above your crease. So if you're looking head on at the mirror, you know where your crease is, that little fold, you just want to do it a little bit above. Do it quite a bit above if you want, because think about it, there's going to be glitter on there. You don't really want the glitter to be in your crease. It feels weird and there's more room for it to transfer. And here we go. Okay, there's our shape. So now I'm going to thicken up this top bit just so that it matches the bottom and lean up the corner as well. Okay, so that is our shape done. Um, there's a little bit of transfer there, so I'll probably, after I've done this eye, I'll do a bit of cleaning up with a cotton tip. But for now, I'm going to leave it and do the other eye. Okay, so that is the shape of it done. Now, I'm just, if I can screw this lid on. I'm so messy with this stupid eyeliner. I get it all over my hands. Okay, I'm just going to get some cotton tips quickly. Be right back. Now I'm just going to clean up a little bit because you can see they're just a little bit messy. I have eczema in that area. It's so dry and just difficult to get a smooth line. So I'm going to clean it even though it doesn't really matter because we're putting glitter on. I'm just wetting this a little bit. It's actually very messy. So that will just smooth everything out a little bit. And then if you need to, you can go back into that transition shade or any shade to just kind of fill that area back in that you might have taken off with the cotton tip. Obviously, if this was more neatly done, it would look really cool on its own. It's very, like, I don't know, I get such a 60s vibe from this. Now, I don't have any glitter glue or anything like that, so I'm just going to use lash glue today to apply the glitter. And here I have a little glitter pot. It's Cosmetic Cut, which is the best to get, especially if you're using it around the eyes. So I use Jazzy Glitter. She has a little Etsy store. I'll link it down below. I got, like, 10 pots delivered from the UK to here for, I think it was just around $60.00. 60 Australian dollars, which is really good, I think. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit more expensive because it is cosmetic grade, but a lot less chance of going blind, so it's best to pay a little bit extra for that insurance. Anyway, I'm going to open my lash glue and I'm going to use my Zoeva 322 brow line brush and I'm just going to put it on there. Oh, God, not that much. So I'm just putting it on the top like that and then... I'm just going to apply that right over the black liner. Have some cotton tips on hand because if you go outside the lines, obviously the glitter is going to stick to your skin where you don't have any of the liner. So it's not going to keep that same shape that, it, that we want it to. So if you put any glue on your skin, just wipe it away with some little cotton pad. Oh my god, I can't talk. I'm just so concentrated right now. And then I'm just going to dip my brush in the glitter and start packing it on. It's a long, slow process, so just keep packing it on. This works a lot better with a lip brush. I did it with a lip brush last time, but I can't find it. <laughs> taking shape. The last time I did this I, I had to kind of pack two coats of the lash glue on and then go over it again with the glitter just to get the density that I wanted. But it's up to you. If you like it after one coat that's fine. It's actually quite a nice effect when you can see the black liner underneath. And don't freak out if it doesn't look how you want it to look immediately because it does look kind of ugly and messy when the lash glue is drying because the lash glue is white or well, the one I'm using is. So when that's drying, it looks kind of ugly and messy, but I promise it looks good at the end. I'm 
only a zoom up even more. That's as far as it goes. But that's a bit better. So right now you can probably understand why it's important that when you are doing the liner you do it above the crease and not in the crease. Can you imagine how much of a nightmare it would be trying to apply lash glue in the crease? Oh my god, not fun. I feel like such a queen. Just really try not to get it in your eyes. It burns. It hurts a lot. Tell you the best thing about this look is when you take it off, because you do it with lash glue, you can like flick it off and it just peels the whole strip of glitter off and it takes the eyeliner off too. So believe it or not, it's actually a really like easy thing to take off. When I was taking my makeup off the first time I tried it on, I was like, oh my god, how am I going to approach this? But it was quite easy, which was a nice surprise. That looks so cool. Loving it. I'm going to do my other eye off camera because you've already seen this one and I just feel like this is going to be the world's most boring video ever. I'm really sorry. I just don't know how to make this interesting. I just concentrate. I just need to concentrate. Anyway, I'll be back with both eyes done. Okay guys, so I've just finished my second eye. Now I'm going to move on to tight lining. So I'm just going to grab my Inglot gel liner again and my Zoeva 217, is it? 317 wing liner brush. Oh man, I'm in struggle town. And I'm just going to line my top lash line. Now for mascara, I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. Just a little coat because we're going to put some false lashes on. Okay, so the false lashes I'm using today, I've got glitter all over them, is the Tardist Pro Lashes and these are in the style Girl Boss, which I've just been loving lately. I feel like I've used them in 50 of my videos. Probably, I don't even have 50 videos, but you know. <laughs> Wait for these babies to dry. And believe it or not, it's actually quite simple to get the lashes on. This look, I think because the glitter has already got glue through it, it's already a tacky surface, so the glue just sticks to the glue, which is just fab. Makes everyone's life a little bit easier. Oh god, that does it. Okay, now for my bottom lash line, I'm going to actually line my waterline with the Marc Jacobs. What is it? It's the highliner and it's in the shade Mist Me. M I S T Me. I freaking love this liner. And it doesn't do too much, obviously, it just makes it a little bit brighter. I just think it ties in with the look nicely. And I'm going to take the shade Peach Smoothie again on that same Zoeva brush, if I can ever find it. 227 Luxe Soft Definer. And I'm just going to sweep that across, across, across my lower lash line. And then we're going to pop a generous layer of mascara on the lower lash line as well. Here you can see how fingerprinty my mirror is. Okay, and for my inner corner, I'm just going to go back into the Jaclyn Hill and Becca face palette and I'm just going to pop a little bit of that in there. Okay, now for the lippies, I have my Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lip Liquid Lipstick in the shade Patina. This is one of my all-time faves. Why do I struggle with the simplest things? Why? I feel like my 10 year old sister can apply lipstick better than I can. Okay, I think we're done. I'm loving this. The lip color really goes with the pink. I'm feeling myself. So, we're all finished. I feel like I just made possibly the world's most boring YouTube tutorial. I don't, I feel like I said like five words throughout that whole tutorial. I'm really sorry. Congratulations if you sat the whole way through it. So if you do try it out, please show me. I love to see your recreations. If you liked the look and the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I post twice a week while I'm meant to, but actually last Friday, I forgot. I was so annoyed. I was so organized. I'd edited my video like a week before and then I was driving to work on Friday. I was like, I forgot to post my video today and it was a beauty school Friday so I couldn't really post it on Saturday so anyway I have a beauty school Friday going up this Friday I'll definitely remember and I will see you guys then thanks for watching Mwah.